Come on, blow the fuck up. Shit, I need to fucking... It's the back. Why does that most do anything? What the fuck? Oh, it just takes ages to power up. I haven't got time for that. Will never told you what he did in that workshop at Ground Zero? No, never. He hid that part of his life from me. Nothing prepared me for the weirdness that was waiting there. Look at this. That stuff that would follow in that same place later. <laughs> Move their bodies around. <laughs> you mean I can do anything I want with their bodies? <laughs> anything? Giggity giggity goo. About to take this guy and have some fun. Yay! Push you into the sky. Okay, this Kronos thing, Kronon thing, didn't do fuck all, man. Just about it. Should have, should have done more. Okay, with that said, I will kill niggas dead. Cut, cut niggas short, give you wheels for legs. I'm a K-I, double L, E-R, C-R in hell. Shoot niggas straight through the E-R, whoa. It's the only way forward. Absolutely no. Oh great, they needed they needed to enhance that because I couldn't read that as cl clearly. <laughs> okay, thank you. Thank you for making a very clear sign even clearer. Thank you very much. Okay, let's go. Let's go. I'm a cut nigga short, this? give you wheels for legs. I'm a KR, double L, ER, CR, and hell. Shoot nigga straight through the ER. What the hell? What is this? That already happened. Seems like your mind is being screwed up. Oh, fuck. Well. No. Will was gone, but 
He was all around me. This entire secret life he never talked about. Everything he tried to protect me from. It surrounded me. A puzzle. Trapped in broken time. We all thought he wasted his research grant. His career. Obsessing over some failed experiment. That's what he led us to believe. What he built there... It never failed. It works. It works. Need my grant extended another year. Please, please, don't do this. Don't do this. I knew something went horribly wrong there, but it was scrambled. It's impossible to crack. I, I just clicked on it and then it disappeared. That was kind of weird. Ah. That's a mural of something. question I had was compounded by what I'd seen at that workshop. The events at the university were part of something much bigger. Something that had started 17 years ago. Wow. And that's just walking through this goddamn... It looks amazing. Holy shit. Ground zero, eh? Okay. Okay, dry dock. Get to the dry dock. I'm almost there. Gotta get to Paul. Nick Masters has escaped containment and is in the goddamn security station who's the fucking meathead responsible for watching over the university witnesses consider your contract terminated how some spindly cab driver managed to get past you guys is beyond me but he's casually checking facebook on a high security monarch terminal yes facebook that's how safe he feels right now 
converge on his location immediately before he figures out how to do some actual damage. They're talking about this guy Nick that helped me out, he's the cab driver. Oh, and remember Jack Joyce, who's me? The guy you were supposed to have apprehended? Yeah, he's still shooting his way through our entire operation. Get your shit together. Okay. Sounds like they're kind of pissed. How dare this man be accessing Facebook? <laughs> Did you know that there's somebody accessing Facebook? Go kill him. <laughs> oh, man. I'm sure there's a lot of people that feel that way about Facebook users. Big Dave being one of them. Isn't that right, Big Dave? I don't like Facebook users. Facebook can suck my cock. Ah! There was something wrong with Paul. Cronon syndrome. He'd had his powers much longer than me. What was the cause? Was I sick as well, or was it his time travel? I didn't know. Uh, any less when Fiona Miller, I share your concern. Paul's treatments are becoming increasingly ineffective, and I hit hypothesize that the onset of the fracture will increase the Cronon syndrome's progression exponentially. I've been trying to take on more calculated approach to find a permanent cure for Paul's sickness, but Martin Hatch has shifted all the necessary resources into our tech division instead. I'm beginning to question his behavior. Every attempt I've made to discover a cure has been met with Martin's red tape. Just between us, I do start to wonder if Martin even wants Paul to be cured. I've looked into Martin's past. He began work for Monarch in 2001, but I couldn't find any records about his past or any aspect of his life before that. It's almost as if he just appeared out of nowhere. He was the only one present during the accident that claimed Dr. Kim's life. I don't want to jump to conclusions, but I do wonder what his agenda truly is. Regarding your question, unfortunately, there is nothing of value in Dr. Kim's lab aside from Paul Serene's treatments and confidential files that would be of no use to your research. We will have to find another way to develop a cure. So, Paul is very sick from time travel. I think he's got time travel sickness. William Joyce is dead. That is my brother, Will Joyce. That's the, my brother. Um, our only shot of stopping is Jack. He can, he can lead us to the countermeasure. Serene got to Jack first at the university too much. He's being moved to ground zero and following the convoy. Security check. Not going to be easy, but it might be our only shot. Keep Charlie then caught distracted, so he's not looking over the security feeds. My cover won't last much longer. You need to be my eyes on the inside. Okay, so Fiona Miller is the woman who gave that nerdy security guy his sandwich. Um, she's working with Beth Wilder. Beth Wilder is one of the Monarch security people who helped me escape. Okay, that's cool. And that's obviously um, a bit of giant flashlight for you to stick your uh, pee pee into. Cool. I like I like just getting to know what things do. You know, these are obviously pictures of aliens. World. <laughs> 